Welcome to a video on this week's new coffee release, which is San Sur, a washed Bourbon from Guatemala, grown between 1800 and 2000 meters above sea level and brought into the UK by our long-term green coffee partners, Falcon Speciality. As usual, I'll talk through the roast that I've performed, how I think you should brew this, and of course, what the flavor and aroma profile is of this coffee. As usual, I have done three roasts on our Loring S15 Falcon. Each of the starting weights were 12 kilos, and the notion with this coffee was to present as much of the fruit characters as possible. So when I was designing the roast profiles, I targeted a total roast time of somewhere between nine and a half and 10 minutes. This is a roast time that I feel comfortable that I can gain good development of flavor throughout the roast, but also be able to balance out some of the acidity to make the coffee more versatile for you brewing at home. So as you'll see on the screen now, each of the three roasts were somewhere close to nine and three quarter minutes in total roast time. I chose a post first crack development time of a minute and 27 seconds. So a minute and a half is where I'm at for uh, a good Omni roast inside of the Loring. A little bit faster will it again be able to retain some of those fruit characteristics, which is exactly what I wanted to do with this coffee. You'll note also that I haven't really played with the overall shape of the, the, the bean. Sometimes I play around with the shape of the profile uh, on a batch by batch basis. But with this, I was fairly confident that the coffee would perform super well with the type of roast curve that I had designed based on prior knowledge, roasting Bourbons, washed Bourbons from Guatemala. Uh, you'll note that La Balsa, that's a Bourbon or Katura, and I roast a lot of that. So I've got some semblance of an idea about how to approach washed coffees from this country. Now, how would this transfer into the cup? Let's dig our nose in, have a taste, and convey what I can uh, taste and smell. So on the nose, you'll get a little pop of acidity. You can sometimes smell that, like a touch of fruit. There's also some prevalent sweetness, and you can smell chocolates too. So I wonder whether this transfers into the cup. I reckon it will. And it absolutely does. So what you'll first get is a bit of raspberry-like acidity. So imagine citric red fruits. It's quite ripe. Um, uh, there, but not, not sharp. Raspberries can sometimes be a touch on the sharp side, but, but this isn't. It's got that raspberry characteristic. The interesting thing about this coffee, and we've put it on the bag, orange blossom, there is this almost florality to the orange character within the cup, hence the blossom. Um, there is then lots of milk chocolate in there too. And, and the milk chocolate is, a, is an absolutely delightful thing about Bourbons from Guatemala. I love this origin. Uh, the reason being is you get this wonderful balance between fruit, sweetness, and chocolates. Everything that I enjoy about coffee is present within this cup. So how do I think you should brew this? This would perform exceptionally well as a filter coffee. It's exactly how I've prepared this today. This is a bulk filter. I use a Technivor Mocha Master, and it is wonderful at producing a liter of coffee all to consume in one go, one sitting, which is exactly what I do. Uh, there is a lot of sweetness in this, so that would go well as a full immersion brew. Uh, full immersion being something like a cafetiere or you could try one of those hybrid brewers like the Clever Dripper. So that is where you get some element of immersion and filtration at the same time. I reckon this would do really well in that brew method. Now, espresso. I think also that this would work well as espresso. That, that raspberry might be a touch sprightly, but there's enough chocolate and enough sweetness to be able to bring that cup profile together. So would I have this as espresso? I probably would. 
Um, espresso is not my favoured method of brewing, so which is why on, on these tastings I'm always here presenting via a filter coffee. I feel like the dilution level of that really suits my palate and allows me to see as much of the flavour characteristics as possible without having to combat the intensity. Anyway, I do feel that this would work as espresso, so fill your boots if that's your bag. In synopsis, this is a washed Bourbon from Guatemala. It's grown between 1,800 and 2,000 meters above sea level. There's plenty of fruit expressed in a raspberry and orange blossom, so lots of citric acid in there. You have a prevalent sweetness. There's milk chocolate on the finish. It's a versatile coffee, so you'd be welcome to brew this in any application. I think that's everything. Uh, all I've got to say is I do hope you give it a go. It's a wonderful coffee, a really great expression of coffees from Guatemala. And as usual, enjoy your weekend. Happy brewing. Cheers.